Making a moving monster with doing animation. Firstly, I'm going to open the doing animation app. And on first run, you get a help screen. I'm going to press the cross to close that. And I'm going to click the plus in the top right hand corner and choose, first of all, new drawing. Before I start drawing my monster, I'm going to select the color in the bottom right hand corner. You can select the colour. I choose to cl click on the little blocky one so you can see the colours a little bit more easily. And my monster is going to be red. I'm going to choose the brush option. And when I've chosen the brush size, I'm ready to start drawing my monster on the screen. I'm now going to choose the fill tool and making sure I've got an enclosed shape. I'm going to fill in the, the monster. Now I've chosen the ellipse tool. I've changed the colour to white because I'm going to draw some eyes. And I've changed the colour to black to draw the inside bits of the eyes. And if you do make a mistake, you can press undo in the bottom left hand corner. I'm just going to undo drawing both of my eyes and have another go because I'm not quite happy with those. And I'm going to choose the brush tool after this to draw a mouth. Now if you notice at the bottom of the screen here we've currently got one frame, one frame of animation. If I press the add button in the bottom right hand corner I've now got two frames of animation and the second frame is currently blank. We can still see the outline of the previous picture, the previous frame. Um, that's something called onion skinning and it allows us to to draw a new picture using what was there previously to help us. So I'm going to redraw my monster now. I'm going to draw his tentacles or arms or whatever they are in a slightly different position. So I have the effect of animation. And I've chosen the fill bucket to fill him in red and I'm going to draw those eyes again and if you're not quite happy with the position, you can use the pointer, um, the select icon there, to, to make small adjustments. And I'm just going to choose the ellipse tool to draw the center part of the eye. So I've got two frames to, excuse me, now. And once I've drawn the mouth, I can then add a, a third frame using the plus tool again and again I've got a blank frame to draw into now you may well be thinking this is quite hard work here having to re redraw the picture in a moment or two we're going to have a look at how you can duplicate a frame and use the rubber to make small changes it's worth recommending as well when you're first getting going with doing animation that you keep your drawings very simple Otherwise you can spend an awful long time just drawing one picture and find yourself with an awful lot of work just for a very short animation. So I've finished my third frame, almost. Now what I'm actually going to do, instead of adding a, a blank frame, is I'm going to duplicate the frame. So this time I'm going to click the, the plus that is actually inside a small square, which makes a copy. You can see I've got four frames at the bottom now, with the fourth frame being a copy of the third. Now I'm going to use the rubber or eraser, and I'm just going to, going to delete um, the legs that I've drawn previously, so I can redraw them in a slightly different position. And um, you may find this a little easier in terms of time taken, rather than have to redraw the whole monster each time. I've got my four frames of animation. I think it's time now to, to hit the play button up at the top and see how it's looking so far. So here we go, up there at the top, we've got play. We can see our animation. And if you notice in the top left hand corner, we've got the, the done option. If we press that, it takes us back to our main screen.
Now I've noticed I've actually missed the mouth off a number of my monsters. So if I press at the bottom of the screen, I can actually select the different frames and make any changes. So I've just gone back through there and drawn, drawn the missing mouths. I'll just press play again to see what the animation is looking like. Now it's playing a little bit too quickly. So what I'm going to do is press the I for properties. And if you notice where it says 16 frames per second, you can adjust it which changes the speed of playback. So I've changed it to about 6 frames per second, so it's running a lot more slowly. I'm just going to make the monster's eyes close for the last little bit. And you can actually, it's really nice, you can pinch and zoom in and out. So I've just put two fingers on the screen there, and move the fingers apart to zoom right in on the eyes. And what I'm going to do now is just use the brush tool to draw the first part of his eyes closing. Then I'm going to duplicate the frame, just as we did previously, and draw a little bit more red to show the next stage of the monster's eyes closing. Just missed a bit there. I'm going to repeat that. Another duplicate frame, another little bit of red, and one final time for his eyes completely closed. Now with our final monster, we really want to be able to use this in a bigger animation or using green screen or featuring some video footage. So we want to be able to share it and export it and use it elsewhere. So I'm going to press gallery in the top left hand corner, which takes us back to where we can see all of our animations. And if I click on the, the, the square with the up arrow, I've got the option to share. And I can share as a video, as an image or data. Now I'm going to choose the data option now and shared folder because I really want to use this monster in, in doing green screen to feature it in a, a, a bigger video. Watch next time to see how we use the two apps doing animation and doing green screen together.